it's Ron and Deborah from Wild Bloods Adventure. We're going to show you who does all the, the hard work here at the <laughs> RV. Um, so we're going to put together some little tutorials on how to do some stuff. And today, Deborah is going to put the tow dolly, attach the car, the Dodge Journey, to the tow dolly today. So here we go, Deborah. So what do you do? Okay. Well, the first thing, you've got a clip here that you have to undo. So that you can tilt your what are they called the ramps mm -hmm. down so you can actually drive the car up onto the dolly okay what the you, is that? this particular one down you actually have to step on them so you might need to help me okay over here that tilts it down okay and then you need to drive up there for me. Okay. Go. And once you've got it up there, then you're going to put on your emergency brakes. Turn off the car. And what? Now we got to put this back in so that while you're driving, your ramps don't fall down and your car roll off the back because that is a bad thing. Okay. Got it? Yep. You're in? In. Okay. Alright, so now you're going to get your straps on. Does it matter which strap goes to which? Um, well, these came labeled. Different straps are going to be different. It just depends on what kind of straps you have, what kind of dolly you have. So make okay. sure you read your directions. Usually I help her with this part, so we'll see. My job is helping out with the straps. As you can see, my wife is a beast. And she took off that, we'll have a video on, she took off some stickers in the middle, and we're gonna put some new stickers up there, um, probably next week. Okay. Now this one is adjustable, depending on the size of your tires. I'm going to move it in one. Okay. okay. So you're going to take your hook. And we have a little niche bar right here mm -hmm. that you hook. strap into. And you're going to put it over the tire. You want to make sure that they're straight. They're not twisted. And you have this piece. Uh -oh. That goes over your tire. So you want to make sure that that does not get tangled up in any of your cords under there cause any problems. You got your brake cables and all that underneath here. You don't want to get those twisted in there. Slide that over the tire. That's why they put the little lines on there so you can see. And you're going to feed this through this loop down here. You want it to be center of your tire. Go over here so you can see. Okay. Make sure we're not 
cook it anywhere. Okay. Now you have your ratchet that tightens your strap okay. to hold your tire on there. You want to make sure that this is slides. Okay. You want it in the center part of your tire. It has a little release bar here. You get it to release. There it is. That will extend your ratchet. You're going to take your strap and you're going to feed it through the little opening slot here. You want to have some hanging out. It doesn't have to be tight at this point because that's what this is going to do. One more side to do. Yep, you do the same thing on the other side. There you go. Okay. Get over here. So again, I'm gonna adjust this one because we had it on the largest and I think it was just a little bit too loose. Too much tightening. Adjust it one notch. There we go. See how lucky I am of a husband? That's right, you are. I am the assistant here. Don't you forget it. <laughs> We have the kids in the RV too, so they cannot distract us now as we do this to make sure we get it right. Shirt dirty. I don't think no kids are going to be watching how to well, that's true. do this. So. But just in case, I apologize. Well, I'd love to hear the comments in here about, you know, how I'm a guy holding the camera, you know, <laughs> if they only knew our relationship. Huh? through
sure you don't have any issues while you're going down the road. You gotta go inside your car. You're going to release your emergency brake. You don't want to go driving down the road with your emergency brake on. Get that. You're going to take your seatbelt and wrap it around your steering wheel because like ours locks a little bit but if it doesn't lock it can make your wheels turn that can be a whole nother problem so you don't want that to happen we're gonna wrap it and it's gonna keep your wheels on your dolly where you want them to be. Now roll up the windows. Maybe. I'll get it. But that is it. And then once you have driven for about a mile, you're going to want to get out, check your straps, because as you drive, they tend to loosen up a little bit. So you're going to tighten them up, make sure they're still good, and check them every once in a while as you're driving. And that is it. Good job. And please like and subscribe if you want to see more. You will see Deborah doing more things like this throughout. We, have, of course, having an RV, you have issues. But thank you very much.